Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you all are having great days so far. So today, I have this Google H1A Nest Hub. This is the first generation. And it seems to have a strange issue. After powering on between six to eight hours, the screen develops this small grid and flickers rapidly. Initially, I'm suspecting this is due to age of the LCD or heat. Maybe there's a cold solder joint or possibly something else. So in today's video, We'll be removing the screen to take a closer look at that ribbon cable and the main board connector to see if we could troubleshoot this further. But with that being said, uh, without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. Now we're taking a closer look at this Google Nest Hub. After the device is unplugged for a few minutes, the flickering goes away. So I suspect it may be some type of overheating issue or a bad LCD, but we'll check that in a bit. For now, similar to opening a tablet, we'll be gradually heating the edges of the screen to melt the adhesive and separate the screen with a suction cup and some plastic tools I have here. As always, if you have not done this before, maybe ask a buddy who has, especially if you don't have a replacement. Now with the screen opened up, when you're peeling it back, you do want to be very careful as there is a ribbon cable that is still attached to the LCD. And simply to remove that, we're going to lift this connecting piece here and slowly slide out that ribbon cable to then remove the remainder of the screen just like that. So I did end up pulling back what looks to be this aluminum type of tape and I think what I'm going to do now since all of this does still feel very warm I'm probably going to put some heat resistant tape over here as well as on this piece and then wrap it up and go ahead and test the screen. And if that doesn't work, then perhaps a replacement LCD would be in order here. So Captain tape has been applied to both of these areas. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it all up, uh, plug that ribbon cable in and go ahead and test it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So it turns out that no matter how careful you are with things like this, uh, sometimes this can happen from time to time when you're repairing things. I have ordered a replacement screen, and when we get back, uh, we are going to go ahead and replace this, and it should work just as new. So, uh, see you then. And now we fast forward about one week later. I have the new screen over here on the left, and the old screen here on the right. Uh, the connectors are the same. So we are going to go ahead, hook up the new screen, over to the device and see how it works. So zooming in closer here, I managed to attach the ribbon cable back to its connector. Uh, something that I wanted to know here quickly is that on the ribbon cable itself, there is this little piece of plastic, it's kind of hard to see, that sort of merges with the ribbon cable and it's kind of hard to put into the connector. You sort of have to peel it back first before putting it in and setting that clip down. It's kind of hard to see, and I've been fiddling around with it for like 20 minutes before I actually went in, but uh, I think it's important to note before we go ahead and start testing this. So now that we have everything set up, uh, let's go ahead and plug in the cable and uh, see what we get. All right, looking good so far. Let's go ahead and see it starting up. I have the screen protector still on it, so I'm not gonna remove that until uh, everything is complete. And there it is. Uh, with the new replacement screen, the fidelity is looking pretty good as well. So I'm pretty happy with uh, how this is turning out. So yeah, moving on, I'm going to try to reuse this adhesive that's around the border and then make sure that I could seal it correctly. And then when we get back, we should be able to see the finished product. Now that it has been fully reassembled, let's go ahead and plug it in and take a look. We have it plugged in. All right, let's go ahead and peel this back. And there we go. I'm not having any other major issues here. At least that's what it looks like so far. Well, there you have it. It didn't turn out how I initially expected, but with the new screen replacement, the device is no longer flickering, at least for now. I'll keep it running for the next few hours just to make sure, but until then, it seems to be a successful repair. But as always, feel free to leave a comment if you're having any issues, and maybe we can find a way to mitigate it. 
But in any case, another successful repair. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. I hope you all have a great time, and take care.